Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it's uh, January 28th of 2021. It's uh, 3.39 a.m. in the morning. I've made several different short videos, none of which I have uploaded. I'm playing with the Stream Deck, Egato Stream Deck. Um, You may have heard me say before, my philosophy in life is uh, keep it simple. And I love my uh, Wave 3 microphone from Egato, and it's worked out great for me. I installed this Stream Deck, and I'm learning how to, uh, how to use it. And... Uh, then it comes with software and it comes with different, what is it, uh, sound package or sound thing. Where I thought, oh my God, because sound is something that I've had problems with. As you know, if you've been watching my videos from a, a while back, once I started using, uh, well, one of the headsets that was working out really well for, well, I used for a long time, years, but uh, that worked out well for me. Then the... Uh, Wave 3 Egato microphone situation worked out. And I, I just got to the point where I didn't have to worry about audio. So anyway, I installed, I'm not sure what, what, what it's called, and I think it may still be, no, I took it off. I think I had to put it back. I don't know, is it the Stream Deck? I don't know. I think it might have been the Stream Deck. I'm afraid to even click on it. Um, So, I think I got everything back. Uh, I made a video, and I think maybe a video that you all... Uh, oh, I see my uh, <laughs> camera is now doing this in and out thing again that it was doing the, uh, the other day. Uh, I thought I changed the settings on that. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do streaming, because it's package for the uh, stream deck and uh, so many you know pulling in of audio here pulling in of audio from uh, there and all this all this different stuff I'm not sure I want to do streaming um, so this is another sort of a test video I'm using uh, Manicam and uh, capturing the, what is it, uh, 2560 by 1080, but then I'm uh, reducing it for the video to 1080p when I upload it. I think the audio should be working, uh, working well. A while ago, and I uploaded that video, I believe. I made I made a video and I uploaded and I uh, tapped the microphone, the Wave 3 microphone, no response. It was using, I'm using a, uh, this is my Panasonic G7 camera and I'm using the Degato uh, video capture card, their HD60S card. So, um, and so it was using, actually it was decided to use the, uh, uh, camera microphone, which wasn't bad. And especially since I didn't know I was using it, if I'd have known I was actually, you know, so I'm back now to using the, uh, Wave 3 microphone and just don't know. So, um, I'm still happy that I have the Stream Deck and I'm still going to play with it. But I have second thoughts about uh, 
Now uh, this damn camera is doing, and I changed the settings to it. I don't think I flipped any, uh, well, a while ago. No, you didn't see that video uh, when I was moving this. Oh, I was bringing it down in a video. Maybe you did see it. Yeah, I think it is in that video. Yeah, you will. It's the last video. I brought it down here by hand so you could see the stream deck. And then my fingers were touching, you know, touching the keys on the back and the top of the thing and everything else. I may have set something to, uh, so I don't know. Uh, let me, well, I didn't change anything on this front, but. Oh, let's see. There we go. Let's do. Let's do that, see if that helps any with the uh, in and out thing. That data will disappear off there a little bit. I think I've got a chip tooth. I had some popcorn a while ago earlier. I'm not sure if I lost a filling or if I got a chip. I don't have any pain, but uh, I guess when you get old, you shouldn't eat popcorn. Okay, when are these things on the screen going to stop? Well, I can see it's still fading in and out. I see the microphone has a line through it, but I still have the uh, uh, graph that you can see on there. I never got that out of there. Um, oh, I just had a friend of mine send me a email now the data that's the way it's supposed to work with this thing so uh had a friend that sent me an email in fact he sent me a couple and he said that he got a he said are you trying to send me something he said i got a uh, notice about a uh, package you know i've got a delivery from amazon or a, a, not a delivery but a notice and he says the uh, number doesn't match up and i I was in the middle of this and I sent him back a, uh, see if I can uh, maybe do a search. Because anyway, I sent him back a message and said, no, I'm not uh, not doing anything. I'm messing with uh, my computer settings and everything, but I haven't, I haven't sent you anything. Uh, and then I sent that off. And then I thought, wait a minute. I just saw, I didn't read it, but I just saw something, and I think it was on CNN, that uh, there was a little headline. I didn't read the article, but it said uh, a lot of people are getting messages showing that they are receiving a package that they did not order, and that... Uh, it is a uh, some type of a scam and don't fall for it. But I didn't read the uh, story and I do not see, let's see, I don't see it here. So if you happen to run across it or know anything about it, put a link below. Let's see, maybe it's in this area here. Okay, I don't want to sound racist, by the way. I don't. I think that we should keep our paper bills, money. I think we should keep presidents on them. Myself, uh, if you want to honor uh, Harriet Tubman in some other way, but of course, you know, uh, that's fine. I, you know, it's. Uh, I'm still looking for that. There's always now little uh, stories about people like the uh, rich couple who flew up to, they're Canadian, I believe, they own a, uh, I think in Canada, they're business people in Canada, and they flew up to a small town 
because the small town was giving uh, the coronavirus to all of the workers, people in the town. I mean, it's really, I forget, 150 people or something. <laughs> they flew up in, a, in their private jet and uh, said that they worked up there and they got the vaccine and then when they asked, uh, could we get a ride over to the airport? I, I don't, it couldn't be much of an airport, you know. Could we get a, you know, I, I'm not sure they didn't say, our private jet is over there. People became suspicious in this town of, I don't know, it has 150 or 200 people or whatever. Can you imagine how many, you know, and so they checked and so those people are in uh, trouble. Then there's a doctor that took home wasted uh, coronavirus uh, and then uh, gave it to nine of his family members. Now that's Florida, and I can understand in a way, because you know, the governor of Florida down there, a Republican, uh, I don't know if he's changed it, but it was, okay, first come, first, you know, and uh, old people lining up you know, with their canes and their walkers at 2 a.m. in the morning to be in line in order to get the thing. And uh, I think the only change he made was what was happening was people were going to Florida and, and uh, just getting the vaccine. And so now they're requiring, you know, you have to show a Florida ID that you are a resident of Florida. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm looking again for this thing. I guess I'm not going to find it. Maybe I can do a search. I uh, know somebody, will, one of you will probably uh, find the story, or the story will be. Anyway, it looks like. Uh, anyway. So this is Manicam. I'm going to uh, I think it's this video, which has only had one viewer that I made an hour ago. It says playing with the Egato screaming desk and Manicam. And I think that audio that you hear in there is actually the audio from the uh, Panasonic G7. I've got, you know, lapel clip type things and I got several different things that I reviewed in the past that I never really, I mean, other than using it for the review purpose, I never, I've got all the, but I like my Wave 3. Uh, this uh, computer that I've got, uh, the card for it, the audio part of that card is really old. The BIOS or whatever, that ha that part hasn't and can't apparently be updated. Um, I was actually the other day looking at a computer for, you know, like in the thousand dollar price range, you know, with uh, plexiglass or whatever on the side where that lights up and does all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I've well, I have two uh, Chrome boxes that I don't use. Uh, right now, I don't have a laptop of any kind, but with my arthritis, it hurts looking down. And at my age and everything, I think I'm going to be spending more and more time sitting at a desktop. It's so much easier. And I can put my food right here, too. Uh, if you've been following my video, well, by the way, this it will, this is another thing. If you've been following my videos, you'll know that about every year I have to buy a new chair because I'm a fat ass, I guess. And uh, sure enough, this chair is, I think, less than a year old. Not, not very old. And the hydraulic thing, I'll be sitting here and it, and then, you know, You'll be seeing me like this until I do it, so raise it up. So what's going to happen is it's going to be more and more often until until the other. In fact, that was the problem with the last chair. I'm 240 pounds. These chairs are supposed to do 300, 
And the last year, when I, when I got this one, before I got this one, I was saying, and I think I forgot about it, they've got chairs that are about the same price that say that they, uh, for, you know, up to 500 pounds. And I was saying that that was what I was going to do because maybe there would be a little bit, I probably, it's probably the same chairs, you know, but <laughs> I was thinking that maybe the hydraulics and some of the stuff would, you know, be better. Also, if you've been following my videos over the years, uh, you'll know that, uh, you know, we don't have a refrigerator that we rent this place, you know. We don't have a refrigerator that has an ice maker on it. But a few years ago, we discovered, you know, these for about $100, a little bit more, ice machine. You have to put water into it yourself, you know. And it kicks out enough ice, and we just loved it. But about once a year, they break. And uh, sure enough, the one we'd have uh, broke uh, yesterday, I think it was, and we had bought it exactly uh, it, it, a year before, three or four, you know, it, so it actually ex <laughs> died uh, three or four days after like a year. And uh, so it just looks like what we need to spend uh, about $100 every year getting an ice machine because we do, you know, I drink a lot of Coke and it's probably good that I drink it with Coke in it. I'd get a little bit of water. That's the only water I get is from that. And uh, so it's unfortunate too that, you know, Amazon, as I've told you, does not allow me to review anything. I had over a thousand reviews, mostly with uh, videos included. A few of those ended up on, I, if it was something that was a computer hardware thing, or you might see a, a review. But uh, because, I mean, I wish that they hadn't blacklisted me from the, uh, they didn't tell me why, or they didn't tell me they were taking my videos off. They just did it. And I've talked about that. Um, but, you know, the, uh, I could do some pretty good reviews on the ice makers and tell you how long they last exactly, which for us is about a year. And uh, anyway, um, so I guess I'll upload this with, this is with Manicam. This is uh, hopefully using the Wave 3 Higato. And I'm using my uh, Panasonic G7 camera. As I've told you before too, I, I really wanted, the, I've, well I have three Panasonic digital cameras. I really wanted the G7. It was quite a bit of money. I think I said the other day that I, I couldn't believe that I spent eight hundred and fifty dollars or whatever for it and i think i corrected myself underneath that i thought i figured out no i didn't spend that much five maybe 550 because this is the uh, what 14 to 44 lens which is great for doing this so anyway this camera's been sitting for several years not really getting any use and Kind of making me think, oh my God, I spend so much money that I can't afford. And, but now I've put this into use as this. But stop going in and out. Uh, see, I moved, the camera was over here and I guess it was happy with the, oh, the light behind me, I think that's it. Hang on a second. Okay, I think that was, I think that was it. Now, I bet this doesn't go in and out. 
No, okay. So it's it's that light behind. I need to work with the lighting a little bit. And so we've solved a problem together. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you know anything about that scam or something that's going on, maybe I'll do a search after I get on here. I get on, on back on the computer. Thank you very much for watching. Let's see, I forgot how to shut this. Oh, here it is. Click this. Stop recording.